I'm gonna show you how I did this look. Okay, let's first use some green tea toner. This is from Innisfree. We're just gonna get a little antioxidant on our skin and hydration. And then I'm gonna use my Ladora Red Light Wand to just depuff and push it in. The combination of the antioxidants from green tea mixed with light actually gives you 260% more efficacy when doing LED light for encouraging collagen and healing in your skin. Next, let's do our SPF. This is the glow screen from Super Goop. It's an SPF of 40. I just think it looks like a beautiful primer, but also is protecting your skin from all of the UV damage that can happen from the sun, especially now that we're in May. Time for some water. All right, today I have the iconic London Underglow Blurring Primer. Let's try it out. I've tried this before. I remember thinking I really liked it. Another iconic London product is this Radiance Booster. So let's play with this. It's a little bit orangey for me and it's a lot thicker than I would have thought. Kind of interesting. I'm not sure what people are doing with this, but we'll just smear it all over and see what happens. We want everything to be radiance boosted. We're looking healthy and glowing, I think. We have some color. We don't look completely dead. So I do have this Merit stick. It's a bronzing kind of stick. Not as cool as like a contour stick, but I'm still going to use it kind of like that. If you've watched me do this a million times before, you know that I have a tall forehead. Definitely get a lot of real estate out of my bronzers and contours like up in this region of my forehead. If you have a shorter forehead, then you don't really need to do this, right? Just like, you know, I don't know what to call that little type of squiggly line, but basically you're starting up in the side next to your eye, coming down along that cheekbone and dropping down like by your mouth like that, right? And then you can like chisel at your jaw if you want to, underneath the lip if you want to. And then let's not forget about throwing some in our eye sockets. Hmm, let's put on some blush. Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in Strawberry Drip. And we'll just put that on up and the same on this side. And I like to take my blush across my nose ridge. Let's blend this in and out and see what happens. I always start with the darker colors, hence up on my forehead, and I just push it into my hairline. This helps camouflage any hair reduction you might be experiencing as you mature, but it also just helps with the gradation into your hairline. So make sure to just like push it up rather than pulling it down. And then our eye sockets and then our face. So with this, again, I'm pushing up. I don't want to drag that color down. So I'm like pushing it up and up. Just swath it along your ridge just to provide that shadow below and help make you feel a little bit more chiseled and clean. I'm always pushing up. When in doubt, push up. I have like a nice little base done now, I think. <laughs> Let's just do some detail work. We do have some highlighter, Fenty Beauty highlighter in confetti. So it's kind of like a purple iridescent look. I do like to pop that in the center of my eye because it's a lot of brightness there. And I feel like it's very springy. So I think that will be pretty to kind of have this lavender iridescent inner corner. You can also, guess what, throw that on the little end of your nose to pop those little bones. Throw it on top of your lip and just like get it up on those edges to make it pop just a little bit more. You can do that there. The only reason sometimes I wait on this is just because I go back and forth. I always like this to be one of my last elements just because I want that to pop a lot. So if for some reason over the course of the next steps I kind of mutilate it, I'll just do another layer. So far, so good. I don't normally do a lot of eye makeup and sometimes it can go really bad for me, which is one of the reasons I don't do it. But I did get this uh, little eye crown from Charlotte Tilbury and this is the Walk of No Shame eyeliner. It's like a burgundy color. I've been using it as kind of an eyeliner and eyeshadow. And what I mean by that is I just kind of like use it to kind of like chisel it out like that. And then I'll line on this side too. But then I just kind of like do the lines up on the side and then again, just a little bit underneath on that side. And the formula is really soft. It's definitely a great formula for this technique because it's not super dry. It's very, very movable. It's very creamy and blendable. 
which is why this works with this one in particular. All of her products though, I feel like are usually pretty blendable and creamy, but if you do this with another eyeliner, just keep in mind it needs to be a soft one, otherwise you won't be able to move the pigment around and kind of make it easier on yourself, you know? It'll kind of get, I don't know, dry and weird. Okay, so there's just like a quick eye with that eyeliner. I think good. Okay, brows and lashes. So now that we have our like eyeliner kind of on, let's just curl our lashes. Now you guys know that I don't have lash extensions on right now, so that has given me the opportunity to be able to play with mascaras again. The reason I went to lash extensions is because I was not good at mascaras and I would get them all over the place because I have really short lashes. That's okay because I actually am really, really happy with this blink tubing mascara, like really impressed. Number one, the wand, so happy. I can use it. That's a huge like selling point. And then I really, really like how the formula works. And I know that I'm not the first person to use this or share it because I didn't have lash extensions. I was able to try it and I'm sold. It doesn't mean that I don't miss my lash extensions. It just means this is a nice option. I mean, look at that. It does such a great job. It's like, this one's just curled. This one is defined. And we'll do the same thing on this side. And then yeah, these little like tubies that kind of get wrapped around your lashes, which is creating this effect. They just kind of flake off later on in the day, like they come off, but actually I've been really bad and haven't taken them off at night. And they kind of build the next day too. I'm not saying it's like the best look, but you can kind of like build from day to day on them and you can layer it up. You just have to let it dry. Yeah, I'm really happy with this mascara and I don't typically, have a lot of good things to say about mascaras for me personally because it just you know okay our brows so we are going to be using the precise my brow pencil from benefit i use it in the 3.5 color it's just a little bit ashier than the three and i really like it for my brows because i like an ashier look rather than like a warm brown so if you have coloring like me you might like the 3.5 more than the brown. Anyways, 3.5 is my color. So if you feel like you're similar to me, you might like 3.5 too. So I just like run it through my brows, then you flip it around, you take the comb, and you just comb that color through, building more structure and width in our brows. Again, you can always tell that I'm not really precise with any of this. I just kind of like run it through kind of crazy. I think that being less precise and more organic with it makes it look healthier and more real. Then this is the Benefit Wax. I don't know if this is new or old, but I recently got it at Sephora and I'm like loving it. And I'll show you why. So it's more of like a way to be able to laminate your brows. So if you come back to the tail and you just push the product back against the grain of your brows, right, how the hair is growing, you can basically back comb it so that you're getting a lot of product underneath them. Then you comb them up like that. And then you take your finger and you kind of like push them up and this laminates them. So you have like a more defined laminated brow, but it gets better. Then you pick up the Say Brow Gel and you just go through your brows one more time, just giving them a little bit more definition after they've been basically laminated up. So that is my favorite way of doing my brows right now. My brows do need to be cleaned up. They're pretty messy. I need to go get them threaded, but overall, like this is like my favorite brow thing right now. Young brows are thick and they have lots of little front hairs up here. If you've ever looked at like young girls brows, they're usually like hairs pointing up and fluffy and going out. As we age, obviously we're growing less hair. I mean, I've never over plucked my brows or anything like that, but 
I don't know why we can't keep that really young fluffy brow as we age, but this is one way that I'm trying to do it. So hopefully you like it. Okay. We need a little bit of sparkle. This is just that cheap elf glitter. So I'm going to actually just throw that into the inner corner of my eye. I'm going to use my finger to just tap it in a little bit underneath because it's always nice to have a little shimmer. You could do it on top here too. So if you wanted just a little bit more fun pop. Now I have glitter on my face, which some people might say I'm too old to have glitter on my face. Okay. If I was going to Coachella, which I'm not. Actually, Coachella sounds like a nightmare to me. I would never want to go to something like that. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I would enjoy it at all. Number one, I don't like the desert. Number two, I don't like camping. Number three, um, I don't really like live music. <laughs> I'd rather listen to it on an album on a really nice stereo system or in my car <laughs> or earbuds. So I will wear glitter to church because I'm not going to Coachella. Okay, <laughs> let's just line our lips. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. And we will just line and I will be using this Burberry lip gloss today. I actually think this is like discontinued. No, it doesn't exist anymore. Let's spray our face. I'm using the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow. This is the darker color. They have two colors. I don't know where the lighter champagne color is, but this is definitely more of like the mm, tanner one. Okay. And I'm going to finish my hair, get in a dress, and I'll see you in a minute. We finished. We got dressed. We have our hair done, our makeup. I'm happy with how it turned out today. Happy Mother's Day, you guys. Boom.